Hi there people, you're welcome to the channel. So today is about Adam Sushomole. Yes, Adam Sushomole. And this is about this his house that is really melting hearts online, okay? As well as some other reveals that have surfaced, all right? So in a, in a moment, I'm going to let you guys watch the videos and then afterwards would come what I have to say about it, okay? But before then, have you been watching videos on this channel and you haven't subscribed? Uh, uh, please do me that big favor by subscribing to the channel, okay? And also, please turn on the notification bell so that you're quickly informed at every single time I upload a video on this channel, okay? And for every one of you who has subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. As people contested under the APC, and truly, they gave money. I mean, they gave serious money like it, it, it was just a bazaar so if you juxtapose that with what they came in with a government that said okay it was coming to clean up the system now having a national chairman not a state chairman not the local government chairman having a national chairman taking money from people do you understand what I'm saying? Yesterday I did a calculation of $55 million that he was being alleged to have taken. I converted it into Naira. It came up to 19 billion 580 million Naira. 19 billion! 19 billion Naira! To the party. Not to the party, to him! The money that he collected from aspirants. 500. 55 million in 19 billion 580 million calculated by 356 naira per dollar that is what it comes out to and you know the issue is a government that actually wants to fight corruption by now Oshiomole should be sleeping with the EFCC because that's the same way you have treated your position in the past three and a half years by now Tayoshe was a governor when you blocked his account. He was a sitting governor with immunity. You have Ganduje in Kano. Yesterday, the fifth video came out where he was collecting bribe. This government has not touched him. Nigerians, let's not see. Let's take the jokes away from ourselves. But some people will say that this is an inter-party affair. Some people will say uh, that it, it has to do with the party. That the party should handle it. Who wrote the petitions? GSS investigated him. They interrogated him for hours before he traveled to the US three days ago. How is this an inter-party issue? You took money from Nigerians. You, you defrauded Nigerians. The wife of the president came out and also spoke about this. Let's, let's, do we want to fight corruption? Mm. Do we really want to fight corruption? If we really want to fight corruption, whether you are in PDP, whether you are in ABGA, whether you are in APC, whether you are the president's wife, once you are caught, you go in for it. But there has been a special protection for corrupt people under this government. And you know the issue, once you're still in Nigeria today, once you're an arm robber, once you're a froster, once you're whatever, Run to the APC, you are protected. If there is anything the APC has, the ESC has done in the past three and a half years, it is to prove to us that everybody in APC is a saint. So you have a childish pedestrian fight against corruption. You have a joke, a, a joke as your fight against corruption. Where is Adam Sushomole? Let me give you an instance. Do you know that this same Adam Sushomole? There has been a petition against him in 2016. A particular bishop, cleric from Edo State, has been begging EFCC to probe Adam Sushomole. Begging. Nobody begged them before they shut down the uh, government uh, account. Probed the state account. How come? EFCC has never probed Kaduna state account. So, what we have, and I am challenging anyone from the villa, from President Buhari to Vice President Osibajo to their SAs on media mm. to Femi Adesino to Garba Shehu, let them come here. Let us debate if they've truly been fighting corruption in 2015. What they've been doing is to use the fight against corruption for politics. And you know what that does? Mm. That keeps us in the same circle. 
Because too the people are stealing. And truly people have stolen before. So when you turn it into politics, your benefit, only you and your party benefit. Nigerians need to benefit. How come we don't have roads in Nigeria since 1960? Who are the people who have stolen money made for our roads? Who are the people who have taken money made for you and I's medical uh, facilities? Who are the people who have stolen money for our education from 1960 to today? Do you understand what I'm saying? If you call them out, if you prosecute them, it is better for the Nigerian nation. But when you are doing the wife of the president, our aide, a ADC, our security aide, was locked up. You know why? Because she accused him of collecting 2.5 billion naira on her behalf. We are making a mockery of ourselves. So, Adam Sosiawale, in 2016, had a cleric who wrote to the USCC, begged them, begged, pleaded with them <coughs> to prosecute him. They didn't prosecute him. Guess what happened? Between that time, this man built a wonder on art castle in Edo State. The same Edo State is where you and I are passing through to go to the east that has no road. The same Edo State that the youth are now being turned into Yahoo Yahoo people. This man built an island for himself with an artificial swimming pool uh, um, lake. lake. Believe me, if Oshomone was my father, I would take him to hear this. Where we even see Pish yourself? They say this one you get as he be. Say you know feed be. Now we say we'll go find the house. As we go find the house, so we reach the village. The village be like any other village we there than there. Even when we see the house, the house be like all the houses where they are around the area. Now we say more we'll use being there for. Now we fly. As we fly so, waiting we see our mouth not fit talk. Now America wonder they built for Edo State. No be house be this place. Now complex. The house, first of all, not they even use Nepa. Now solar panel, now they install. Now two mansions they there. One get swimming pool on top of the roof. The other one no get swimming pool on top of the roof. They can still do man-made lake. Lake will be seen not be God do one. Now man construct them for the place. The place so be like golf course. The mansion a very white mansion. Fine white house now they built for this place. And the land there. Eh? Four mansions still fit sit down on top of the land where they are around. The place, if you see him from far, you go to see a guest house. They see get outdoor swimming pool and pool house on the other side of the deck. The compound there, eh, he passed plenty local government with the, this country. Oshio Mole, the Baba, eh, na Baba for the boys. Na he PC. Big boy, you know they rush corruption, no? Now corruption they rush. Em. That is it, my dear people, lo. Um, see one person house now, only one person house. That compound just be like the whole of Baba combined together. But the only difference is just that the house is posh. You know now, as per big man house. While Baba, on the other hand, is irritatingly disgusting. As you all can see on the pictures, please look at your screen. That is the state of Baba right now. Now, someone may ask, okay, so why are you bringing in the state of disgusting Baba into this Edo picture? Relax, my brothers and my sisters. Abia states, Abba precisely, is in this mess right now as a result of wrong choices, Godfatherism, and Godsonism beginning from the past two governors of that state and then the present governor now this same scenario will most likely play out play out in edo if care is not taken back to shomole so you get mind go build private zoo build lions then etc for your house for your one compound right that compound will be like the whole of Aba combined together but then, you never thought that building a state zoo will be beneficial for your beloved people. 
in your own state and yet you love them so much you see this life here eh, and the irony of life he loves his people so much and he's campaigning for a candidate for them and after each campaign he goes back to the comfort of his house and relaxes seeing his zoo and the animals in his zoo and to him of course he understands the importance of having a cozy private zoo but then he did not think towards the same sightseeing benefits for his so beloved Edo state people by replicating or building a state zoo for them ironies of life ironies of life anyways let me just rest my case for now here but please please and please i beg you guys do not forget to remember Aba Abia state god's own state do not forget to remember that state especially Aba. why am i so concerned about because i know Aba is the major source of income for that state then if Aba is in this mess then the state as a whole i wonder i've not been to the other parts of the state but the pictures we see it is flying online for what's his name erify's son to tweet about this same state then abba is in a mess so let us keep remembering these states in your daily prayers or in our daily prayers and please do not forget to drop your comments in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also please turn on that notification bell and give the video a thumbs up and please share share this video until something happens in Edo states Edo states must not be like Abba and Abba there must be a change in Abba there just has to be a change in Abba either by force or not by force there has to be a change in government there has to be a change in strategy there has to be a change in delivery there just has to be a change a change in Abba that said I'm gonna be stopping here so thank you so much for watching bye bye see you in the next video